Hello, everybody. How's everyone doing? How's everyone doing? Konakov, how you doing? 765 or demos. St Steven, how you doing? Dub, Robo, Glob, how you doing? YB, uh, how's everyone doing? Kilo, raisins. What about raisins? Raisins are raisins are immaculate, you know. Oh my God, Nina, you're here. Uh, uh. Uh, yo, yo, Alex, my ass hurt from this flight. What the fuck? Isn't it? Didn't you guys have padded seats? Just had two boards delivered today to build uh, while I watch. It feels like Christmas. Which boards? Lots of us here? Dude, I know. Everyone's here already. You guys have to suffer through rain now. Isn't that crazy? Everyone's going to get rained on now. <laughs> Dude, it's supposed to be bad weather until like 1 p.m tomorrow so hopefully we don't have to deal with it till uh till then i think it's actually gonna start raining any time now that's what it looks like rain over sunny any day really insty you think so uh excited to, dude i'm excited to build it man did you get my uh last email i haven't checked my emails all day today i've been uh a little busy cleaning and stuff and then uh <coughs> I don't know. I'm just doing a whole bunch of things today. Alex, trying to build my, um, wait, Alex, trying to build around your Minify 2 in spring. What keycaps do you think for a white sonnet? Believe it or not, I think if you're trying to build around my Minify dust pads, I think um, Moto Light's probably the best way to go. Truth, Truthfully. That or just go with something super simple. But I think Moto Light. Maybe even sleeves. I exist in fog. Hot weather ain't it. I mean, you know what, Insta, it's kind of fair. Therak, how you doing? Therak, I don't know if you can see on the top of my screen, right here. Wow, right right here. I've been using it, man, it's nice. Uh, I agree, on Rain Over Sun, really guys? Wait, this is a whole This is a whole topic now. Do you guys really, like, would you guys really prefer Rain Over Sun? My hair is so weird today. It just, it, it didn't like wash nice, because I didn't put conditioner in it. I think I blow dried it to the wrong side. Anyways, I'll fix it tomorrow. Um, I hate the sun, really? That cat's looking fresh. Thank you, dude. Appreciate it, man. Gonna be a quick hello? Dude, no worries, man. Book some overtime for this. Dude, bro, don't even stress. Don't even stress, dude. I much prefer to cycle under the sun. There's that too. That's for sure. Cycling in the sun is probably preferable over cycling in the rain. Wow. You know what? I'm actually very surprised in how much how many people prefer rain. Very, very surprised. Hey Alex, what do you think of the Join 65? Bro, hold on, I need to tell you guys something quick. I apologize for any loud noises you guys hear from upstairs. Every time there's a fucking long weekend, there's just they have a they throw parties at, for like three days straight. I just, it drives me nuts, dude. And they just yell and drink. Like, ah, man, I'm not gonna say, you know what, just forget it, bro. I didn't until I moved to Seattle about rainy days. Isn't Seattle like the the crown thing of rain? Uh, it was a bad, uh, I was a bad boy today. I failed to resist the salvation extra. Oh, snap. Uh, sorry, we'll, we'll try to quit. <laughs> Y'all have a long weekend? I actually, the thing about working for yourself is you tend to lose track on the weekend stuff. So I don't actually know what long weekend it is at all. <laughs> so I, I have no idea. Uh, Alex Maddie, he low-key Maddie wasn't invited. Honestly, probably, dude. Uh, but the Joint 65 was a good keyboard. I think my only issue with the Joint 65 was the... Probably the the text on the weight. I don't think I really enjoyed the text on the weight all that much uh, But other than that it was pretty good to be honest. I didn't mind it at all. It's a long weekend next week for us Yeah, you guys have uh, Another weekend. I can't remember Sup Alex hit me with the tactile recommendations, you know I've been using more of the Boba's and the Boba U4T's are actually not too bad The Boba U4T's not terrible, dude Oh, Memorial Day. That's right. That's right. That's right. Hi, Kenny. How you doing? We're actually using some pretty nice switches today, by the way. These little guys right over here. Um, what are we replacing text with? The website still shows UT. 
Wait, what? Uh, what SRR are they replacing the text with? Wait, what happened, Jess Press? Just want to tune in and say hi. Sleep time here. Hey, dude, thanks for tuning in and just letting me know. But um, you have yourself some good sleep, dude. That's what's most important. Thoughts on a taco pad? What's the taco pad? Good night, everyone. Have a nice stream. Hey, good night, dude. Excited to watch the stream for the first time. Hoping to get a Zoom TKL on the next rollout. Are they doing a second rollout for that keyboard? I am still blown away by how well that keyboard did. Like, so blown away. Taco pad. What the hell? Oh, this is cute. Why does it say, oh, taco is a well-known street meal. No, what, no matter what life circumstances are, a yummy taco can always bring you back to the day, day one moment. Bro, I can hard disagree on that. There are some things a taco is not going to fix. Like, <laughs> you know, I don't mean to be, be the bearer of bad news, dude. But like, there's, you know, your wife or husband dies in a car accident. I don't think a taco is going to fix that. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say, man. Uh, it looks cool though. I don't really quite understand the whole concept behind the taco theme, but cool. Sorry if that's not okay to say. Pink taco, what? Taco heals hunger, Taco Bell is expensive. Man, I don't even remember the last time I had Taco Bell. Uh, but yeah, these are cherry housings and cream, cream stems. Honestly, man, the last time I had Taco Bell, my stomach hurt like real bad to the point where I uh, I never wanted it again, so I just have not had Taco Bell since then. And this is probably like 15, 20 years ago. Yeah, about so. Just right after that, man. Never again, dude. Um, just press key, just wants a compliment? Dude, you know what I would have every single day? Little piece of you, dude. <laughs> Hopefully you're having a great day today, and I hope you have a good weekend, dude. Uh, but thanks for just for being here, Just Press. Hey, Alex in chat. What's up, Cass? How you doing, man? It's the weekend? Not quite. We have a few more hours. I only got to talk about for the Baja Blast. Was was that around 15 years ago for Taco Bell? I don't remember. I don't recall. But yeah, we also got this artisan they sent over, which I think is super cute. I actually don't know too much about the artisan. This is like my first artisan I've received in a long time. But I thought this was kind of nice. Baja Blast switches. Isn't that a thing? Kind of cute. Kind of a cute artisan. We'll probably use it in today's build. Like I said, I have not used artisans in quite some time. Uh, leaving some NK Cream Pluses with copper inserts. Oh, those are the best inserts, dude. Absolute best inserts. Uh, this keyboard's kind of neat. This is the RE65 round two. Uh, we have our PCB over here. Do you think Oil Kings would be good for the Zoom TKL? Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about. I know we talked about it briefly, but yes, I think Oil Kings would be perfect. Dude, the Zoom, I plan on doing a full, like more in-depth kind of look into the Zoom and maybe it's success. I think the Zoom, out of all the keyboards that have, the Zoom 75 in particular, out of every keyboard that's come out in the last little bit, I would probably say it's one of the most, not influential, but one of the most purchased keyboards, yeah? I think that's like fair to say. Cause that is a crazy amount of units they announced was sold. Uh, I, I'm still blown away. Like, I think it just had everything everyone wanted. A good sound profile, OLED screen or just a screen. I wasn't I'm sure if it's OLED, I don't remember now. It could be just LCD. Didn't they say something like 10,000 units were sold? Can't wait for it to come back. Yeah, it's crazy. It was like more than 10,000 units, yeah. Which I think is a pretty like, that's a hefty number of keyboards. Crazy though. <clears throat> like I said, I'm, I'm very blown away by that. Cool PCB. Very basic. I love that. It does have a, a rotary encoder knob, but I did not receive a rotary encoder knob, so I don't think we're gonna be using a rotary encoder today. We are just gonna be building the keyboard. But this is it here. It's a pretty cool keyboard, actually. 
I was torn between the Zoom 75 and Envoy. Would you end up getting Cass? The shape of this board, man. Oh, the shape of this board is pretty nice. Like that, this is a pretty nice sh shape of the board. Uh, it, it is gonna be no daughter board, which makes me think this is probably compatible. I'm not too sure with some universal PCBs, which is not a bad thing. Pretty nice looking keyboard though. Like I like, I like the whole framing of the keyboard. I think this is kind of cool. Definitely not of the norm, which is, which is nice. Definitely has some weight to it too. But what, where it gets interesting is the side profile. So these make it really nice to kind of pick up on too. Like you can pick this keyboard up pretty easily. And I think the framing of this, like again, just the side profile and just how it looks, you know, it does have that curve from the top. So pretty cool. I like this too. But then where it gets super interesting is this back piece over here. So pretty nice. And then you have your polycarbonate piece over here. So this is going to allow you to kind of shine some light through stuff. Pretty, pretty nice. I kind of like it. And then we just got some like, uh, some, some designs etched in kind of like grills over here. Kind of cool. Having no daughter board scares me with big flex cuts. Luckily we don't have flex cuts on this. Um, or I shouldn't say luckily or I'll piss some people off, but there is no flex cuts on this. Uh, <laughs> Fluffy, dude. Thank you so much for 31, 31 months. months. Let's go. Where did time go? Bro, thank you very much, dude. Thank you. I don't, well, obviously I couldn't have, but we got a lot of followers in the last like eight hours. So thank you guys very much too. Yeah, pretty nice design. Again, it does have that uh, fixed USB-C on the, you know, on the actual PCB itself. So we are going to have a larger gap for the PCB over here, which is not a big problem. Interesting. It is going to be gasket mounted. I can see some of the gaskets there on the inside, but we'll take it all apart. Actually, we'll probably do that right now. Ooh, my only concern is, I don't think my, I might have to get find myself an Allen key for this. The curve is wild. I like, dude, I don't, I don't know about you guys. This bottom design is kind of nice. Mr. O is a good leader to follow. Dude, thank you very much. All right, let's find out what bit I need. Yeah, it's quite nice. Anyone have any plans for the weekend? Anyone doing anything fun, exciting, interesting, cool? Um, what is this? This is called the re... Oh yeah, I definitely need an Allen key. Okay, let me just quickly go get an Allen key. Do I have one over here that might work? Hold on, let me double check. I might have this. No, maybe this guy. I ended up getting the Envoy, can't wait to get it. If your colorway was available, I would have jumped on it. Hey, no worries, man. Honestly, I kind of kept it a secret for quite some time, so there is no hard feelings. I'm moving to Philly tomorrow? Damn, that's pretty awesome. Going on vacation this weekend? Where are you guys going to? We were considering doing a little thing in July, like a little mini vacation for ourselves. Haven't quite decided yet. Got to help my buddy set up his two-year-old, uh, or set up for his two-year-old uh, two B-Day. Uh, they were told they would never have kids and boom. Oh man, that's an awesome feeling, I bet. They are probably living the life right now. You're coming up with a mode collab? Yes, so if anyone doesn't know, if anyone's still, I guess, missed a few of the streams, I will be doing a mode envoy and some custom colors and some switches to go with it, the Obscuras, because I really like the Obscura Envoy co combination. I think that's such an awesome combo. Alex, can you share what you were using for your website? I want to start my own uh, and share my design portfolio there. I am using something called, do I have to unscrew the polycarbonate piece? I think I do. Um, I'm using something that actually I would not recommend to you guys. I am using, hold on, let me double check. Yeah, I am using um, WordPress, but it's also built on Elementor. And I only started using it because I had a deal uh, where I had a license of WordPress still that I never really used, or Elementor rather. So it was just kind of like low cost, but I don't recommend it. I managed to build a decent little website around it. Elementor is kind of, I would personally say kind of meh when it comes to like what you can use. 
Oh, interesting. They put the gaskets on the plate. But I like that. She like a little bit of texture on this too. I would recommend something like Squarespace, just a little, something a little easier to kind of dive into. Like I said, I probably wouldn't recommend using Elementor. It's, it's still easy. Like if you're looking just for something that I could like, if you needed pointers on, I could give you pointers on, but inside of the keyboard, there's a little bit of a t funny texture on some of the silver on the inside, but I don't really, it doesn't really bother me. And it looks like a little bit grainy, but this also is a prototype. Like I can see a little ding on the copper there. Pretty simple inside though. Um, were you able to stay, uh, were you able to stay until the end to hear the sunset 80 of the day? No, I actually had to get off. Like I was, um, I think I got about three quarters in and then I got up and then the funniest thing happened to me or demos. I sat down for five minutes because I was like, let me just go rest my eyes. Like, let me pull it up on my phone and watch on my phone. Cause I had some popcorn. I was, I was like legitimately like enjoying myself, closed my eyes and I fell asleep. Didn't even get my phone open, <laughs> but I fell asleep with the lights on. So yeah, it's one of those nights, dude. One of those nights where you just, you don't, you, you don't, you don't know what's going to happen, but those have been happening to me quite often, actually. But then, then I, uh, whenever that happens to me, I don't know if this has also happened to you guys. I kind of wake up kind of shocked afterwards, like pretty, pretty rapidly. Cause I'm not too sure like if I should be sleeping. So I kind of wake up in a startle. Shrinking this week and I'm really enjoying it. Dude, shrinking so good. I don't know if there's a season two coming out anytime soon. You know what else is a fucking banger of a show? If you guys have not started this, watch Silo. It's on Apple TV as well. You know what? There are some pretty damn good shows on Apple TV. I didn't even realize there was, but Silo is so good so far. I am, um, I think there was an episode that just came out today. So I need to figure out when I'm gonna watch that, but it is a banger so far. Uh, Apple TV shows are so good. Yeah, yeah, the only other one I've watched was C. Also a great show, by the way. C was amazing. Succession? I think I watched one episode because someone was, telling me about it, but I think I, I pro honestly, something else happens to me when I'm watching shows. Sometimes I get distracted with things and then I need to go back and rewatch the show. Like Severance, I got distracted. Severance, I couldn't finish. So I need it. Like, I don't really remember what happened. So I have to go back and somehow figure out rewatching that and just like when I'm going to do it. This is, so we have a lot of options for space bars in this, damn. I didn't realize how many options there were on this hot swap PCB, but we have split. We also have, looks like six and a seven. No, actually only a 6.25. So no seven. At least I think a 6.25. You have to do severance. Everyone, that's, that's another recommendation I get quite often is severance. So yes, I, I will watch severance. I just need to figure out when. Is Polycarb the best plate for stocky sound profiles? It can help. I wouldn't say it's the best. I think if you're looking for a stocky sound profile, there's a lot of factors that go into it. But in terms of just plates, yeah, I think it's definitely your best bet into that road of um, stockiness. If I'm hunched over at the meetup tomorrow, it's because I'm soldering my crane at the moment. Oh my God, dude, I, I honestly, I feel you there. I've noticed since I started streaming, my posture's gotten really bad. So I'm constantly like during the day, I'm constantly like doing this now, like trying to like, cause when you're soldering and stuff, you're kind of leaned over like this. And I, I don't properly, well, I mean, even if you properly do it, your neck's constantly like at an angle. I need to figure out some posture exercises. That's on my to-do list this week, posture exercises. Seraki keycaps, I need to try those. Give me a thuppy plate, bro. I still see so many of those random names on uh, on TikTok, all the random ones. Also, I started the list for the subathon giveaway stuff. Uh, let me tell you guys, I uh, 
haven't decided on the final thing, like the final like item to do the giveaway for, but there's some pretty good stuff on there, dude. Corn giveaway? Maybe. I'm considering something like that, but no promises. We'll see. Uh, I will be attending the, my local meetup in about seven hours, and there's a high chance Singa will reveal the Unicorn SE there. Billabong, if they do, can you take pictures and put it in the Discord, please? Thank you. <laughs> please and thank you, dude. Kohaku giveaway? No, I don't think I want to do the Kohaku. The Kohaku has a special place in my heart. Do you guys have those keyboards that are like, and they mean something to you? Win a date with Alex? Hot damn. Taco giveaway? Did someone mentioned earlier there's like a whole collection of taco keyboards on KBD fans. That's pretty crazy. That is pretty wild, dude. Glasses giveaway? Believe it or not, glasses are not cheap. So you know what? I, I don't think I would do that. Glasses are actually kind of expensive, dude. Toenail giveaway? Huh? <laughs> Thanks, Frank. Um, bath water? I kind of want to take a bath. It sounds so relaxing right now. Red shorts giveaway? You know, that'd be really fun to do a piece of apparel like that. But I low-key need to... Those red shorts are like in the worst condition possible. They're so used, like they're just worn down. Even some of the colors starting to fade in certain areas. But that can be fun as like an actual piece of something that I do. I'd sniff, huh? OMG, oh, I'm goofy, what's going on, dude? Uh, glasses are such a cursed object. Dude, I was having a full blown like panic moment the other day. I haven't shared this with anybody yet, but I did the, the biggest goof up possible. I went to go take a shower and I had just finished, like I was already tired too because I was like just coming home from, well, just coming back from the gym. And I go, I go to like take a shower, right? I go to, to do it and obviously I'm not wearing my glasses in the shower. Um, and for some reason, okay, so what I always do is I put my glasses. I'll, first of all, Maxi, thank you so much. Morning, dude. chat, and Alex. Thank you, thank Hope you, man. Hope everyone had a good day. And that the goof up day. wasn't too bad. Less than three. Wait, goof up? What goof up? Maxi, you don't even have to stress, dude. Um, what was I saying? I normally put my glasses on my, my like little table next to it. For some stupid reason. D okay, in our in my, my shower area, there's also a, a toilet and I put it on the top of the toilet. Like the toilet's closed or, I put it there. I got out of the shower and I, and I can only see up to about this far, this far-ish. This is how far I can see. I spent 15, 20 minutes looking for my glasses. I was in panic mode. I'm like, did I throw them out? Like, where did they go? Like, it, it is the worst feeling. I haven't felt that in a long time because usually I'm pretty good about putting them in places I know where they are. Holy smokes. I was in panic mode. Cause I can't even, like, there's nothing I can do. Like, there's nothing, I can't see nothing. Even having to use my phone, like it's like up to here and just, Yes, and then I saw them on top of the toilet seat and I'm just like, why did I put them there? It was just a goof up on my part. Big goof up. Uh, oh, that's what Maxie was talking about. Pre-coffee mistakes suck. This was, I wish I could blame it on that, but this was just like a big goof up on my own part. Terrible, terrible goof up. Brain fart. Yeah, a little brain fog sometimes. You know, not for nothing, but after I got COVID, I'm telling you, man, I've tried a lot of different things. I think it's starting to feel a little bit better now that I'm uh, working out. 
the brain fog has just not gone away. Yeah, we got a lot of noises happening today. We have people partying upstairs. We have sirens outside. <clears throat> just got here, so it might be late, but Zenny Optical is a good place to get glasses for really good prices compared to buying at stores. The site also allows you to uh, has a thing that helps you f find ones that fit your face. Have you um, heard of Clearly? I, I got a pair there once and I was really happy. I'm not sure why I didn't just go back. I think it's like, oh yeah, because I had to go to an op optician and stuff like that and ch ch you know, get my eyes checked again. But Costco glasses are supposed to be legit and cheap. Yeah, I kind of low key kind of want to get a Costco membership now. After seeing those $10 bag of ruffles at the store the other day, I don't think I want to go back to the store. Um, are you going to the Toronto meetup? I am, Mr. Kupo. I am. Anyone ever ask you if you watched a movie called The Professional? It sounds familiar. What's The Professional about again? Uh, excuse me, what store was that? Loblaws. So, Loblaws had regular ruffles for like $6.99, whatever prices they have now, which is still ridiculous for ruffles. And now they have a new brand of ruffles called Simply Ruffles. $9.99. $9.99 for a... Dude, I have the picture on my phone. I should just post it in the Discord right now. Or let me, let me just pull up. One second. Okay. Do you guys see this? $9.99. I had to take a photo. I, I was like literally in disbelief that this was a thing. I think it's raining now, guys. $9.99. Isn't that fucking outstanding? Isn't that, isn't that wild? Dude, isn't that, isn't that wild? I don't, I honestly, I have no words. That's six, uh, six euros. Yeah. Or is that euros or pounds? <clears throat> you look like the assassin. I do. Is that what Jason Statham? Pounds. Okay. And I always forget which one's which. Get a bunch of cheap tortilla, uh, tortillas in a triangle. Yeah. I mean, that's what my mom used to do. She used to bake them actually. Oh, dude, I don't, you know what? I need to familiarize myself with that, Niv. Have we tried Doritos yet? No, that's gonna be soon. I promised a few people now that I'd do it and I've been a little lazy with trying Doritos. I'm a little nervous. Tomorrow, no, 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 not tomorrow, not tomorrow, not tomorrow. Tomorrow I have to focus up on being a good human. Wait, soon, let's go, yeah, we're gonna do it on stream, we're gonna do it on stream. <laughs> no, 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 not tomorrow, Brie. Tomorrow I gotta focus up on being a good human being and having a lot of energy. He's gonna get yak from all the flavor. <sighs> There's something about it that just feels so artificial, those Doritos. Like, I don't know, it just, it doesn't feel right. So we gotta see, I, I don't know. Today's my, dude, I'm gonna be so busy this weekend. So I'm hoping that I'm gonna do a few more errands around the house slightly plan out my stream for tomorrow. It's a secret stream. Only you guys know about it. There shall be no advertising of this secret stream. We're gonna have a, hopefully we'll have, everything goes as planned. We should have a special guest here. Hopefully, I don't know what we're doing yet, but it's gonna be secret though. Um, Honestly, not sure what time. Sometime tomorrow, I'm thinking like late. Didn't Gio already say that he's the guest? Yeah, I did too. I said daddy's the guest, so. <laughs> so we'll probably be hopping on just building a keyboard or something. Any tips soldering plateless boards? One leg at a time. I wish I was soldering today, I, or else I would show you, but one leg at a time. East Coast late? Yeah, like East Coast late, which is like normal time for West Coast. Um, 
Tyler Jr. Oh, it's gonna be so busy tomorrow, man. I think there's a lot of people in here in, in chat going, right? It's gonna be a busy day tomorrow. There's gonna be so much stuff happening. Ah, these AP stabs. Thanks for the follows and subs, guys. I really appreciate it, everybody. Thank you guys very, very much. Uh, well, you'll. I'm already gonna grab some free, so don't even stress. See, don't don't spend monies on me, guys. Please don't. Please don't. <clears throat> Actually, I think we might even have some here. I just have not opened them. Dude, I can't deal with TX stabbed my poor fingies. Yeah, they are tough to clip in. Toronto's a nine-hour drive. My back doesn't have that in. Oh yeah, dude. You know what I really want to do? They have this like four day train ride from here to BC or something. I really want to do that. But to find four days just to do that is pretty crazy. That is, is it 96 hours? Something like that. That seems so cool. Hydrate, give me one second. It seems like an experience. Come to BC? Yeah, that'd be really neat. You know what? Fuck the meetup. Let's just go to BC. Tim, why'd you have to say it like that, man? Tim, nice stickers, by the way. This is very much your expression, too. Like, this is kind of your face. You just, you never are pleased. That's very Tim. Very, very Tim. You know me. <laughs> um, Tim's happy when he's unhappy. Tim when he has to wake up in the morning and he's not, and no one wants to play Escape from Tarkov with him, or now Apex, that's his new game. <laughs> that face. TXAP stabs? Yeah, I mean, like, I'm gonna be honest, this is the best iteration of TX Stabs yet, but, uh, you know, being super critical, they're just stabs that work. At the end of the day, that's all they are. I would say that if you're looking for something that's a little easier and not quite as, like, scratchy sounding as a cherry stab, and you need, you need to go with clip-ins, these are your best bet. They are definitely worth the purse, perch, uh, pickup, but, yeah, what exactly what Tim said, dude. There was nothing ever wrong with cherry stabs. Literally nothing. That's why I still think cherry stabs are go-to in my opinion. Plus, cherry stabs have this nice little, it might sound a little bit annoying to you guys, but they have this nice little uh, scratch that comes in the stabilizer housing too, which I really appreciate. Kind of adds some texture to the space bar. So I appreciate cherry clippings. I like the foil texture. Uh, looks like a trading card, arch ultra rare. That's what I think of Tim. Tim's ultra rare. Huh? Huh? 765, thank you so much for the prime, dude. I appreciate that, man. Cherry just scratches all the right parts. It really does, dude. Um, I don't have a desk tour video, but I will be, I do have like a little mini thing on Random Frank P's channel. Um, but I will be doing my own eventual, I, I have to admit guys, like I've just been so busy with client builds. So, I have not had a chance to do anything outside of this. Client builds take up all of my day. Juan, if I could though, I'd want you to take up my entire day. Just me and you, we can go do fun things together. Appreciate you being here, bro. Love you, dude. But yeah, it's, uh, it's just been busy. Oh, where's my little, oh, the tweezers. I'm a Cherry Clippin' fan, me too. There was never nothing wrong. If you're completely opposed to clip-ins, I still think Duroc screw-ins are fantastic. And you can usually find them not at bad prices too. I'm gonna hug you tomorrow. Hey, yo, bro. Hey, yo. Uh, this is from a Vietnamese maker, yes. 
I was actually really pleasantly surprised that they reached out to me. And I was very honored to cover this board. Because the board looks beautiful. I'm hoping the board's gonna sound good too. It has all the right components to make it sound good. I think it might be something over, you know, up all of our alleys. And I'm not too sure the finalized price of this board, but the IC said this board was gonna be 270. I don't know if that's true, but if this is 270, this is not bad. I actually tried reaching out to the maker recently, but I'm not sure if they missed my email with uh, some of those questions. Oh, dude, we had to push that back until the first week of June. A rabbit asked if I can push it back a little bit. That one there looks, I don't know, man, the Orbit looks so good. I just got in some new coffee from Onyx and I'm super, dude, tell me how much, how, tell me how you like it, dude. Today I had, I had some like regular flavored coffee today. Some hazelnut vanilla one. Um, but tomorrow, I'm gonna be, me and Gio are gonna be trying some, uh, some new, some new coffees that I have that I haven't opened up yet. Make some, we'll do a little coffee exploration between the two of us. QK80 came in today three days earlier than it was supposed to. Damn, those shipped out already? I'm, uh, I'm impressed. That is crazy. I did, I got the Z75 and I'm probably gonna cover that probably in June too, just cause I think the group buy is like end of June, but I did get the Z75. They did reach out, we got everything cleared now. I'm gonna be honest, one of the things that happens more often than not recently is someone will send out a board without any sort of like notification to me. I get the board and I'm like, I don't know what this is. Is this like something I ordered? And then I'm, I just kind of put it to the side until someone reaches out. I think there's actually two or three boards which nobody's reached out to me and I still don't understand what they are. Um, and I don't even know where they got my PO box from, but I don't have it publicly listed. Real dark roast type notes. Ooh. I like dark roast coffees. I love those coffees. This can be giveaways. <sighs> yeah, I guess they could be. It's tough. I think one of the toughest things for me right now, and I don't mean to make this sound as like, woe is me type thing, but oh my God, Kursat, thank you Hello. very much for the tier one. You are Canadian copy of my friend equals. Really? How so? Like, do we look alike? I get a lot of boards that I have every intention of sending back, but what happens a lot is people will be like, oh, just keep it. And listen, not for nothing, like I am more than happy. Like I appreciate it so, so much because that usually means I can give something away. But what, what, what happens is I can't do give, like I don't do giveaways often enough. I should. And, and then I end up having to do like 10 or 15 boards for like a subathon type thing or just like some sort of like big giveaway. But uh, I, I track how many boards we give away, uh, both on Discord, on stream. Like for example, in the last six months alone, we've given away 38 boards in six months. So that was over two big giveaways too. But uh, pretty crazy. Millotron, thank you so much for the prime, dude. Yeah. And then there's actually one board where I keep forgetting to reach out to the guy. He wanted something done to it and I just totally slipped my mind. So there's actually, it's gonna be technically 39 boards or something, almost 40 boards. And then we're doing another 15 in like literally three weeks or let's just say four weeks. So it's gonna be crazy. And we do random ones too, right? Thank you though, Millotron. I appreciate the prime. But um, it's better than just hoarding them at one point, my mindset was like, oh, it's good to keep the boards. That way there I can always have something to go back to and like show you guys. And I try to do that. But realistically, I don't live in a big space. Like at all. Not even close. Like in the evolution of my streaming, I would say maybe the space has gotten visually a little bit nicer, but it's still been the same size. It's still a tiny room. So maybe in the future, if I have a bigger room for myself, maybe. 
but um, and I feel weird about selling the boards. I don't really feel like I should. I think it's just a bad vibe to do. So we'll just do giveaways. A lot less RGB. Yeah. Which I'm kind of glad about. I feel like just evolution as a human being, you know? I think if you want multiple boards, two to three, I think two to three is usually good. Maybe even if you really want to push happy it. Happy nine months less than three. Dude, happy nine months, Rocket. I really appreciate that. Hopefully you're having a great day today. These are really nice switches, by the way. The owner of this board, actually, the, the owner of the Re65 actually sent these with the board. But these are pretty nice. Eon, thank you so much for your tier one, dude. Storing 30 boards makes me question my life. Yeah, you guys can ask Gio tomorrow when he's on stream about what I have to do to store boards. That's why I'm giving away. Oh my God, and Alex, thank you so much for seven months. Glad I could catch today's stream. I'm glad to, for you to be here, dude. Alex, hope you're doing well. Glad I could catch today's stream. Smile. Um, today is a... Today is a fundamentals day. Today is a fundamentals day. Actually, Okay, hold on. We'll, we'll just use fundamentals to test. <coughs> Might be something else today. Thank you though, Alex, I appreciate that. Just got my Lilith. Uh, so definitely a great day since I got a new uh, keep to build. Keyboard to build? Wait, did the Liliths already ship out? Oops. What time is tomorrow's stream? Honestly, I don't know. Did you like the synth? I like the synth. I thought it was such a unique looking board. Not too sure what tomorrow's stream time-wise is gonna be. Damn, I did a really good job on these. No, it, it's not natural light. Um, it's fake light. I did some testing to get light like it usually is. Like when we do the one or two times I've actually had natural light on stream, I did some testing to try to replicate it and I've gotten it pretty close. I'm just not ready to switch over yet. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a. Do fake some light. keyboards with spacebar mounting points sound good or bad? You can have a keyboard have a mounting point like this underneath the spacebar and still have it sound okay. My issue with spacebar mounting points. So hear me out. When you have a mounting point right here, any sort of like this is the key you're probably going to hit the hardest. Let's be honest. I hit the space bar probably the hardest out of any key. I think most people do. And I find it very fatiguing to have a mounting point here. Now, these are a little plusher, so maybe this will be a little bit more forgiving for this particular gasket system. But I actually prefer when keyboards have no mounting points underneath the space bars. It's less fatiguing to your thumb. There's no resistance you have to do, you know, against the PCB and plate. So you get a little bit of that bend, kind of like we see and the Envoy over here. So if we switch this camera, you get a little bit of that, which is nice. So when you're when you're actually typing, you can slightly see, and these are normal taps, it's moving with me. Less resistance, it usually sounds better since there's no place for the sound to kind of travel into the actual case. It doesn't sound flat or dead. It sounds a little bit more lively, kind of like again, the Envoy. But the big thing is feeling for me. Feeling is hugely different. It's so much less fatiguing to have um, no mounting point underneath the space bar. <laughs> so much less fatiguing. Definitely more prominent with stiffer plates. Yeah, it always it's always going to be a little bit more prominent with those stiffer plates for sure. One of my favorite people to support Live. with subs. Thank have you. you gotten to try the new long pole KTT switches, KTT darlings? might be your new favorites along with roses. I might just have to send you some for one of your personal builds. Hey yo, you know what? That sounds like I read that, that someone might be sending me to try some with their client build, but I didn't even know they had a, a new long pull switch for, for KTT. That sounds pretty awesome. 
But uh, thank you so much for the support. Um, I definitely have to try that. Are they like dar darling colored too? Because if they are, that's even better. <laughs> I'm so sad I might not be able to make it to the keyboard meetup tomorrow because of a family emergency. Uh, that's okay. Honestly, there'll be more meetups. Family first. Let me tell you this. Deal with what you have to deal with. The worst case scenario, is something bad happens. At least you can see you were you were there with the people you have to deal with. Instead of hanging out with all of us. Don't uh, don't don't be in that area of like the grade and you know regret and stuff like that. There'll be more meetups. You have a whole life ahead of you. I can't believe I have to meet Alex tomorrow. Oh, come on. I swear to God, I feel like I've met you. I know we haven't, but I feel like I've already met you somewhere. It's really weird. Creamsicles? Mm, aren't, aren't creamsicles not a cherry housing? Actually, you know what? I'm going to be honest with you guys. I didn't, they just said there were sending me switches. I didn't ask what switches, and I'm making the assumption with parts here. It feels like a cream stem. Like, it's definitely a long pole of some sort. But I think it's a cherry housing, like full cherry housing. So nice. Got a salvation Ambulance. today. Can't wait to build it. Your stream helped me make the decision. Hey, yo, dude. What color did you end up getting? I feel like the few people that I've talked to about salvations, no one's actually got cop copper slag. Everyone's gotten like regular colors, which I think is fine. I made some ja uh, black cherry pies recently in Goddamn. Yeah, they're a popular Franken switch. Copper slag and it slays? Yes, sir. It's a nice one. Copper slag? Hey. I just learned about another KTT long pole. It's called Blueberry Swirls. Okay, well, I, mean, I had to check out some long poles from KTT. Bye, Cass. Take care. <clears throat> Killa, I think, I think, uh, I think Twitch warned me about that word. I'm just like, bro, we're talking about a color. It's okay. Was copper slag an option during uh, initial GB? Um, no, I think it was made very late. Okay, so the, not to answer, not to like answer Salpin for you, you guys, or not to speak on behalf of him, but basically the reason why Salvin decided to go with the copper color is like the e-coding stuff is because the anodization, and this is not the, like Salvin's not the only person to deal with this right now. And I'm not saying it's anyone's fault. We're just gonna talk about just the facts. The anodizers were kind of slowing down the process. And again, Salvin's not the only keyboard maker to kind of deal with this at the moment. Um, good anno is really tough. A lot of people, to, to kind of get a little bit deep into that subject, a lot of people doing anodization are not doing anodization for vanity purposes where they need to be 100% fl like flawless. They're doing like anno for parts and stuff that don't need to be 100% flawless. Um, so a lot of these anodizer guys aren't doing great jobs and you guys would like people, customers would not appreciate the job that some of these anno people are doing. So instead of bouncing, you know, spending a lot of money from going from anodizer to anodizer to anodizer to anodizer, um, Salvin just decided to do e-coats and explore that route. Uh, as well as I believe future stuff for Salvin in particular will be Cerakote, which honestly, I think, I know Anno has a specific look, which even I really like the way Anno looks, but, um, Cerakote's always been really nice. I think it's definitely a lot more durable for people to use too. Alex, have you caved and bought the new Zelda yet? Not quite. I'm still I'm still working around my whole Apex Legends grind right now. Just trying to like deal with that before I do anything else. You know? I just saw Dan Keeps just released KTT Hello Hello V2s. Uh, change the housing from kale housing to more traditional MX. I am all for that as well. The one negative thing about some of the KTT stuff is the housings, like it's hard to open. Uh, I think it's a good choice. Copper reminds me of Norbauer finish. Yes, it's very, very nice. Did you plug in a roller for Apex yet? 
Wait, what? A roller? What's a roller? New ranked ground? What's, wait, what's a roller? I want to know now. What is that? Oh, controller. Oh, no. I have a controller. I am awful gaming first person shooters with control. Even with the aim assist, I just feel so sluggish. Apex is so movement based that I feel like you, if you just know how to out move someone, you're probably gonna come out on top anyways. I've never heard it called a roller. Yeah, so I was a little confused. <laughs> Damn, am I getting old? Saying good guys. What legends do I use? Okay, I primarily use Fuse and Mad Maggie. I am all about, listen, it's nothing to do with the mustache. So please don't say it's a mustache thing, but I am all about having like tons of grenades. I love spamming those things late, late game. Love it. Mad Maggie's good too. I'm not playing her much this season. Mustache mechanics, okay, dude. I, I, you know what? People have been saying I could probably pull off Fuse cosplay. <laughs> I don't know if I want to. Um, Mad Maggie, I'm not playing as much this season because less people, at least in the bracket that I'm playing, which is, <laughs> it's pretty high. It's bronze three, um, hit bronze two last night. Uh, don't know why I got put in bronze, but whatever. I've been playing, I'm not that high, like I'm normally like platinum. I won, I think I won four or five of my placement matches and came like, I think I died on impact like one or two games and then came in like top 10 situations in all the other games. Still got put in bronze. A foot pedal. Okay, I have this thing where I sit on my feet. So unfortunately, Foot pedals and anything that has to do with me using my foot won't, won't work. Because at the end of the day, I prefer to sit on my feet. Uh, I tried getting into Valorant because I love CSGO, but I'm too old to get yelled at by little boys after a long day of work. Okay. Plus, Valorant's trash. Valorant is like... Like, my girlfriend plays Valorant religiously. And... There are days where she's like having the best time of her life. And she's like, oh my God, I'm doing so well. I think she hit Ascendant or whatever one of those top ranks is, Radiant, whatever. And then there are days I walk into the room and her face is like the saddest I've ever seen. And it's just people yelling on the microphone. And, and it's just like, she doesn't talk on the, in the game, but like that game there, any Riot game, honestly. I, I love playing League of Legends, like TFT. But any Riot game attracts the most toxic fucking people, dude. Um, the bright colors and love how well it runs. I just can't interact with randoms. The skins are nice. They're just really expensive, too. Yeah. The people getting upset on that game. Like, the, the community behind Valorant. That's what makes me say, fuck Valorant, dude. I swear every Valorant player calls it trash, yet every, I play it every day. I, I honestly, the last time I touched it, I, I think I booted it up like what, two weeks ago to, to try something, but I have not actually sat through an entire match um, in probably like a year. League of Legends is the least toxic game. Is that in the Spidey universe? One of those universes in the Spider-Man universe. Um, I did this Frankie switch with Geon sliders and the actuation is really short, like touchscreen. Oh, really? This sounds kind of interesting. Riot Games is a company just steals Valve games and makes them more average player friendly. <laughs> You're not wrong. Emerson, what's going on, dude? Um, dude, I don't know, man. There's nothing that can make me want to play Valorant again. Like, you know what else was super disappointing here? And it just, it makes me, okay. I'm a little smug about this because people were getting so hyped up on Overwatch 2 and you know, they were all promising this PVE experience and everyone's getting pumped up about it. And then I, I was getting back into Overwatch. I'm like, you know, and then something told me to not invest 
time into the the game, and then also just the imbalance with Zara at the beginning of the game, like the beginning of the state of the game was just awful too. And something told me that they were never actually going to do anything with the PVE. And guess what happened? They announced there's going to be no PVE. So yeah, dude, that's fucking crazy to me. That's crazy to me. What was the whole fucking point about taking Overwatch 2? What a waste of time. That was crazy to me. Tragic company. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they were, like, when I was really into World of Warcraft, there was already a lot of questionable decisions they made when they were even with WoW. Like, I know it's not probably not the same team, but just, like, in general, just a lot of weird decisions they made. I think they really overpromised and underdelivered. They do that, honestly, they do that in every game. Like, to be, okay, I'm not saying this is directly comparable either. Who remembers in Diablo 3 the real, real, the real world auction house where you spent, you know, time farming items and you put it up and you make some actual real money? They made that like, they really sold that in the pitch of the game. Like, I remember people were getting into Diablo just to farm things and sell them on the game. And for me, as someone who I didn't care to make any money off of it, but I was like, dude, this must be amazing because they're probably going to be um, putting in so many new items. So I was playing the game and I found it was like a yellow bowl. It wasn't even like a, a legendary, it was just um, yellow quality. So it's that rare technically, but it had rolled perfectly. And the max you can sell anything was for 250 bucks. Bro, I, I sold that two feet. I felt rich, dude. I felt like, wow, I hit the jackpot today. And I don't know, it was like a cool feeling, but I was like, okay, hey, more importantly, if they're gonna make this sustainable, they must be releasing tons of new items, which is my dream for a game to like constantly release new shit, right? Like on a super regular basis. I think how long did that last? How long did that touch that, uh, not touch screen. I read touch screen from somewhere else. Uh, how long did that um, auction house last? Wasn't like two months, three months? It wasn't long. Then they closed it down. I don't even remember the reason why, but. Hi, sir. Hi, Tessa. How you doing? Cr crazy, though. Absolutely wild to me. Okay, so just so everyone's aware, too, this is no daughter board. Slide this in. The internals, if you guys want to quickly see again. The gaskets were already pre installed. Actually, it might be a shorter stream today. Gaskets were already pre installed. Maybe we'll chat a little bit. Actually, you know what you guys can help me do? Pick the keyboards for tomorrow. I still love the way this looks from the, the bottom. So this has a pretty butt. Um, it's hot swap, yeah. I mean, if anything, this is just a testament to how easy it builds, which is great. We love to see an easy build. Yes, everyone needs a rest for tomorrow. Take toxic corn, put it in a box and sit, huh? Uh, what are the options? Okay, so right now, I'll, I'll, I'll get all the boards as we go. Right now, I want two things to happen. If you, if you guys are wanting, if you guys are coming to the board or the meetup for sure, like definitely chime in if you guys wanna see something that maybe I have and maybe hasn't been released yet. But right now my options are, if you, oh, also, if you guys have any suggestions for things you guys know that I built, not random things that I don't have, um, definitely chime in too. But my my two contenders are the Envoy, but I don't know what color I should bring. I was thinking about bringing the green one. And then I was also considering one of the unicorns, perhaps the green one as well. But yeah, like, you know, uh, pandemic just makes a really good like envoy definitely but then also Pata says Suse. please don't walk up to Alex and start being a susso weirdo I hope I hope that doesn't happen I'm only bringing two um I don't know unless you guys can give me a compelling argument of why I should bring three I feel like last year three was too much to keep my eyes on I was thinking the unicorn. I was thinking the envoy. I don't know what else to bring. 
Like, I'm pretty positive those are the Unicorn Hype. It's just a solid keyboard. It's a, it's a pretty looking keyboard. It's super solid. It's, you know, one of the, I'd say one of the keyboards that made that O-Ring thing very popular as well. The new Zoom. Okay, the new Zoom is actually in pieces right now because I was taking photos of the internals for an article I was writing. So the new Zoom is unfortunately not gonna be uh, ready to go. Mm. I brought the Kuhaku last year, or was it last year? I brought it last year. So I don't know if I wanna bring the Kuhaku a second time. Lilith was given away. So that unit we um, we built was also given away. So I believe the owner, he's come back here and, and said that he received it, but the owner already, uh, already has it. Bring the solenoid one. Oh, that's a, dude, that's a fun idea. But the class 80 we gave away during the last big giveaway. Wait, did we? I think we did. The glass keyboard you built? Ooh, I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous for that. Um, okay, I actually wanna put this set on there. Hold on, I'm just gonna move Purple Knights onto it. But you know the weird thing about Purple Knights is in my camera it looks more blue. Actually, you know what, not Purple Knights tonight. Hold on, hold on. Uh, the side profile is immaculate. Yeah, it's a really pretty keyboard. Uh, why does it look like striker blue on camera? I have a little bit of a, I don't have a lot of blues in my camera, so I color corrected this camera and this camera to have certain color profiles that have everything else to be super accurate. But I think I messed up on the blue level um, and I don't use a lot of blues, or not blues, purples. Uh, I don't really use a lot of purples, so I think I fucked that up. I need to fix it. Or just revert it back to normal. You know, I low key. Hold on, I have an idea. How about Gene Case? I want to say specific. Pacific. Pacific sounds nice. Malachi, dude, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Holy care, dude. What the heck? Thank you so much for five tier ones, man. Oh my god, dude. Come on, bro. Thank you very much. I appreciate that very, very much, dude. Thank you, thank you. The question for, for everyone right now is, do you guys want to vote? Are we voting on this? Do you guys feel like risking your points? Because one of my other announcements is next week there will be reasons to, well, not, fun, fun reasons to use your points. That's my next week goal. It should be up for Tuesday. Gamble? You guys, uh, you guys already know the rules. Slash prediction. Yes. <laughs> yes, okay. Thank you so much, by the way. I really appreciate that, Jason. Is this GMK set gonna be messed up? You guys already know the rules. When I mean messed up, I mean even one little thing is more than 180 degrees out of place. Go ahead, gambling is up, or predictions rather, I shouldn't say gambling. Um, you guys have to guess. You guys have to guess. I wish you can do, I wish there was like a third option we can pick, like a second tier in the gambling. Cause it'd be fun to do like a bonus gambling round is if there's gonna be two X's or two Y's. Uh, it, it arrived in a box. You can do tiers of gambling stuff. Okay, I need, I need to look up more prediction stuff. Oh damn, no one's having faith. Oh, also if it has double letters in it, it's fucked up. It counts as fucked up. Ooh, I don't know if you guys can see this. There's a little crack in this. Ooh. Is that gonna impact things though? Only God knows. 
which Fujis do I use on my camera or for stream? I use the um, XS10 for my top down, XT4 for my face, XT3 for my um, side am angle. I have everything on my exclamation point kit list. And if you guys are looking for more information about the board, it's in, um, look, look at that front too with that polycarbonate. There's a reason for that being there. It's gonna light up. It's in the uh, exclamation point build command. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, guys. Don't you guys finish voting there. Double Bs don't count as messed up though. If that's what's intended in the set. I swear to God, this is double Y. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know. I need to get myself a top-down camera. I'm not sure uh, if I want to spend that kind of money. You don't have to. Honestly, use webcam. And if you really want to spend a little bit of money, buy a used X-T30 or a used X-T20 for a Fuji. Such good cameras. All right. You guys are gonna hate me for this. It was upside down. But it doesn't matter, it was in a box. This Does this not look like the back of the box? Why would this be the bottom of the box? No, dude, that's not on me. That's not on me, dude. This definitely looks like the top. Why would this be the top? All right, let's see, let's see. Oh, man, I have it fucking upside down this way too. Hold on, hold on. So much pain. We're gonna, uh, uh, slight overlaps allowed. This is slight overlap. This is, doesn't count. This is not completely out of place. That's slight overlap. Ah, uh, that sucks, dude. That sucks. But the good thing about this is we didn't get two Ys. <laughs> it's technically messed up, dude. You know, and I was willing to let some of this stuff slide because this is not really messed up. This is just, we got double Bs. Oh, let's, let's double check. Is everything here okay? This is like having a newborn baby and making sure it has five fingers and five toes. Looks like we're okay. Any any mess ups? <laughs> any mess ups, dude? Huh? It does look really good though. It's a fucking good looking set. It's a really nice looking set. F is missing. It's there. <laughs> it's just hiding. All right, this is definitely messed up though. Choose outcome. Yes, this is messed up. Uh, this was scuffed, yeah. One was flipped over. That one keycap being flipped over ruined the entire thing. It was the delete key. I feel like you can mix and match with this set. You know what you probably could with Grand Prix and some other sets too. You can just replace that accent. It's a, dude, this is genuinely like, this is a nice looking set. Malachi, this set might be nice looking, but you're immaculate. All right, Malachi, I hope you're having a great day today. And I hope the weekend, whatever you're hoping happens, man, I hope to your wildest dreams, it all comes true. Love you, Malachi. Hope you're having a great day today, dude. Hmm. Okay, so one small thing with this board, I don't know if you guys can really see, it's kind of happening. There is some shifting of the internal PCB. You guys can kind of see that. Not a huge deal because I feel like I'm putting a lot of pressure into adjusting this, but I feel like some sort of adjustment or some sort of like system on the inside, this happens a lot with keyboards, believe it or not. Even if you use a piece of poron foam to kind of align things, kind of like in the Vega, uh, that usually helps a lot. 
Not a deal breaker though. Because again, once you start typing and actually using this, it should not be shifting around. It had to put a lot of pressure in it. Ooh, this isn't looking nice on this. Damn, this is actually a really pretty set. You know, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I didn't really have high hopes for this set. I thought this set was gonna look kind of mid in person, but uh, I was genuinely pretty wrong. This is GMK Pacific. I think for me, it's just the, the blues turned out good. They didn't turn out to be weird blues. High hopes for the builder skill set. These switches are really nice too. Remarkably similar to Hammerhead Light. You know, I think Hammerhead Light, was that green though? Like a little bit more on the green side? At one point though guys, unfortunately, you know, we're gonna have to face the, the hard truth of the keyboard world where some sets will have a lot of overlap. Hopefully there's stuff that can really make their own cause I mean, Tough sometimes to think of new, like, everything's gonna be like completely different from one another. But I've been seeing a lot of creativity spawn out of a lot of the keycaps that have been coming out. I mean, one of the best examples is Micklin. Beautiful set. I think that had to be like the set of the year for me. Gorgeous, gorgeous set. Uh, Striker Blue, much brighter, yeah. God, I was thinking of Micklin. It's such a nice set. There's been some other really crazy sets too. I think PBT dicep stuff, a lot more creativity can happen with that. I've been seeing a lot of people using, um, you know, pad printing as well as the double shot alphas for GMK stuff. The I daily the Micklin desk pad. Yeah, that whole set is fan fucking fantastic. I can't wait to get that in, man. That's gonna be like my favorite set, I think. That's true too, Brie. That set's nice too. This set's a good a good case for case or a good choice for case color. I think this is just a very safe set for a lot of different reasons, especially with blue. Blue cases is, will probably really shine. <clears throat> Gotta head out. Bye, Alex. Take care, dude. Thank you, thank you for the well wishes for tomorrow. So, have we decided on what keyboards? Again, I'm kind of thinking we go with... Ooh. Is it Unicorn and Envoy? I don't know. Is there like a, a third contender for keyboards to bring? Is there something? I'm not sure. Thanks, 2000. Was wondering where you were today. <laughs> no, this set is big poopy for taking my points. That's true too. It could be like that, Nev. I do. Ooh, that could be a really fun keyboard too. Maybe that, maybe I do bring a third. Maybe that's the third. That is a good idea actually. I could bring a TKL. I'm just not sure which TKL to bring. Although, do I keep it light and not bring a TKL? See, this is the tough part. Seeing it on a board quite nice. It is. Like this looks pretty fantastic to me. Actually, yeah, this looks great in person. I don't have the derivative. If I had the derivative, of course I would bring it. Maybe Corsa? I could bring the Corsa if you guys want. Have, hasn't the Corsa shipped out though? Or is it gonna ship? Mm -mm. This looks really nice. If you let people touch keeves, make sure you put a set you don't care about. Uh, dude, Kate, not for nothing. Last year, I put don't touch keyboard. And I kid you not, dude, I think there was probably four whole people who, who read that and said, I'll respect what this says. Everybody else, I'm not, I listen, I'm just, I'm making some, poking some, some slight fun, dude. Because I do it too. It's really hard to hear in a meetup, by the way. So doing this, 
you're not going to hear shit. Everybody does this. Everybody. Face first into the board. They do that, they click two, everyone goes, everyone hits two keys and goes, not bad. That's pretty much what everyone says for every single keyboard. It's like. So. <laughs> I think with a keyboard meetup, there has to be like some sort of quiet room that you can actually go to bring the keyboard and actually type and like hear it and kind of experience it. It's a little tough standing up. Uh, they're trying to sneak a lick, huh? Okay, this keyboard looks great from the side, by the way. Can I just, can I just point that out? It's actually a really pretty keyboard, dude. Okay, the cable's gonna be a little funky right now, isn't it? Now, I need to figure out how to turn on that LED stuff. So give me one second, guys. You know what? Does this have via support? Oh, it does. Lighting. Oh, cool. Hold on, let's change it to... You know, not for nothing, I think this is like one of the better places that you could have put RGB on a board. Like, at least you get to see it, you know? It's not on the back where you never get to experience it. This is probably one of the best places you could put it. It's not completely overwhelming. Like, I think if you were to put this, it is pretty bright too, yeah. I think if you were to put this into like, I don't know, maybe we do a blue to kind of match the set. I'm sure there's some sort of like, uh, I'm sure you can think of something for this, but let's see, with the, I know the gradient stuff, sometimes it's like they have some good, hold on, it's breathing. No. Yeah, maybe you do like a purple or something. Like this could look pretty nice. This genuinely can be pretty cool. I think there was a restress that he did this. I don't know if this is for this though. I think this is for a different. Yeah, this is for a different keyboard. But um, genuinely pretty nice. I don't mind this at all. I think I think it looks cool. I'm gonna go back to rainbow though, because listen, the few times I get to use RGB, I'm all about that rainbow color. And then from the top, see, that's kind of cool from the top too, how it just kind of spits out some of that. Actually, genuinely a cool looking keyboard. And again, I think this is gonna be about 270. That's what the IC says anyways. Um, there is no RGB underneath the keycaps. There might be some spill on the sides here, but there's nothing underneath. This is just underglow. All right. Let's see what we can have this sound like and feel like too. Um, so this already ran as a round one, but this is a round two. So let's see what this sounds like, shall we? All right, little HJ test for you guys. Hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, wow.
the switches have a slight bit of scratch in them. I don't know if that picks up on the, the mic at all. I don't think it will. So, okay. Here, here is my criticism on the sound. I think it sounds fantastic. I do think the space bar is very sound forward. Also, hi, Kandiru, how are you doing? Big fan. Um, space bar is a little forward in sound. I don't think that's by any means a bad thing. Uh, however, the space bar is a bit fatiguing to kind of hit, just like I was saying before, because it does have a mounting point under that. I'm still very surprised that it sounds this good with the mounting point underneath the space bar. We have that big weight on this keyboard too. Like this is a very heavy board. So you are gonna feel, you know, some, I guess, or not feel rather, but hear some of that fullness of that too. Um, this is using long pole switches too, guys. So imagine this being a little bit louder. Here's my thing though. I think this would be more on the high pitch sound for a space bar if we didn't have that mounting point. It would sound more like this. And I think the mounting points making it sound a bit oddly deeper, but this is by, this is not a slouch for sound though. I think this is different enough in terms of what sound it can produce. Also visually very different too. Pretty nice keyword though. What keycap set is mounted on the Envoy? That is Monokai material. Uh, I know if there weren't adhesive gaskets, I could try so many different things, but it's a very full sound. I'm not gonna, I don't think this sounds pingy, hollow, anything like that. This is super full sounding. I would even venture to say that kind of like the Alice 60 that we built too, where it had that big honking weight on the bottom. This is definitely full, uh, very full in comparison. I'm gonna unplug both. Very full sounding, like a lot more deeper compared to something like the Envoy. And again, that big chonky weight inside of this is doing this a lot of favors for that deeper sound. Typing feel, however, a bit stiffer of a board. Um, again, you're gonna get that more fatiguing kind of space bar here where no matter how much pressure I'm putting onto this, whereas in the Envoy, a little bit more bounciness to it. So this is definitely a softer typer, um, again, from my personal typing experiences and just how I enjoy keyboards, I usually find stuff that has a little bit more of a stiffer typing experience to be a little bit more long-term fatiguing. We're all different. Take that for what it's worth too. Um, but damn, this is, again, if this is gonna be 270, pretty wild. This does not feel like a $270 keyboard. Let me just double check. It does say 270 or am I going crazy? Estimated price, 270. Huh. Uh, GB should be in like six days, it says. Spacebar versus Kohaku? I don't think I have my Kohaku here with me. But uh, the Kohaku is more in line with the Envoy. Uh, so, so when I talk about softer and more firmer typing experience, we're talking really about this kind of like movement that happens with the PCB and plate and keys and stuff like that. It leads to a softer typing experience, which I think is a lot more forgiving for people who are heavy typists. Um, I'm actually not really a heavy typer, but I do kind of slam my space bars and that's where I like to be a little bit softer. Um, this gets a little fatiguing after a while for me, but Again, some people love like top mounts and all these other great things that are a lot stiffer. Usually again, you kind of have this space avoid it for you know, points of, of uh, contact on the case. So it just kind of sits there freely. But in this case here, they didn't do that, but I'm not gonna dock you know, what I think about this because I still think it sounds fantastic. And that's kind of where this steals the show for me. Uh, all the keyboards are hard. I like, to, I like it that way too. Huh? What are you talking about, Exile? Uh, it definitely looks, doesn't look like a $270 board. I don't think so either. I think this kind of punches above its, I don't know. I feel like this kind of punches above what it's supposed to be at 270. Like I'm, I'm genuinely impressed at $270. 
Damn. Yeah, I'm genuinely impressed by this. It does kind of give some like older TX kind of board vibes, but. The curves in this are nice too. Like look at, look at these curves in the side. A little bit of a framing on the inside too, which is kind of cool. I don't know if I love this kind of like internal framing over here they did on the top, but teach their own. There's no way of saying something and uh, there's no way of saying something and it not sounding wrong. I mean, there's no flex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so true. Exile. This keyboard hobby is sus as hell. It does give me some dolphin vibes too. Yeah, for sure. Again, I do like this front piece though. This is kind of, this is kind of cool too. Definitely kind of neat. Like pretty, pretty nice keyboard, I think. Hmm. Yeah, there's a lot going on in the 200 to $400 range, a lot. I do like the no flex in the boards. Some people do. Some people really don't like softer typing experiences at all, which is totally fair. Um, okay, so I'm bringing this guy, Envoy, and I assume we're bringing this one to meet up. And then maybe a third, which I don't know if we're sold on anything yet for a third. Hmm. I don't know. Some people are saying the Alyssa. Honestly, I'm kind of down for bringing this too. I think this is a fun keyboard. Yeah, why are my purples a little bit? Okay, I need to fix that. My purples are a little bit blue. I don't like that. But, uh... This is kind of fun. We could bring this. Moon Tower I bring every year to every single meetup. So I think Moon Tower is on the chopping block for bringing this year. I could put some keycaps on my Ori. Could do that too. Yeah, it's blurple. It, it, right now, purple's on my camera. I don't know, they're being funky. They're being weird. I need to like fix it. Uh, Bauer Light. Oh, would you guys want to see a Bauer Light? For, I guess for the people going. Bauer Light could be a fun choice. Uh, yeah, my Bauer Light's right here. Again, purple, so ignore if it's weird. Could you Bauer Light? This actually, you know what? I think you make a good point, guys. It's light enough to kind of stick in my bag, too. Maybe we bring the Bauer Light. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, good ideas. Perfect use case for dual shot, yeah. All right. Unicorn or Kohaku. Uh, Bower Light should be sometime in the summer, but honestly, I don't know. Uh, bring the heaviest thing possible. The heaviest board I own is this guy. Hold on, let me show you guys. This is the heaviest keyboard I own. The Opus fingerprint magnet. Yeah, it's a huge fingerprint magnet. That's a cinder block, not a keyboard. It sounds not bad. No, I'm not giving that one there away. That's not a giveaway board. That's, yeah, that's gonna cost me an arm and a leg to ship out. I don't have the monster serving. The, the smugly, smuggiest keyboard he owns. Uh, any TKLs you recommend for max thock? Um, try going with a top mount with a PC plate and some thocky switches. Maybe tactile switches. I don't have a TKL thock recommendation though, unfortunately. No thock recommendation there. The U80? Uh, my U80's all fucked up. Okay, well I think we got the boards we're gonna bring. Okay, let me go put these in cases. Ooh, I could bring the bias. I'm gonna go put these in cases though. I'm gonna go pack my bag. 
get some stuff ready. Um, and then I'll be back with Mr. Geo tomorrow, I hope. And then uh, hopefully we have a nice little co-stream, get a little cozy, me and him. He'll sit right here, right here. He'll be, his face will be right here. Mine will be right here. <laughs> All right, though, guys. I'm going to get off now, though. Let's go see if we can go raid. It has been, as usual, a pleasure. It has been, as usual. Oh, my God. Stop talking, Alex. Let's go raid. You know what? Let's go raid a prease. Let's go raid this man. I, I, I enjoy a prease's contents. And he's playing Apex, and I'm so into Apex right now. All right, guys, you guys have a good night. I will see some of you guys tomorrow. I'll be streaming again tomorrow. I'll also be streaming on Sunday. So streams are still happening almost every single day. It's crazy. Um, see you guys tomorrow, though. Peace out, everyone. I love you guys. And goodbye and good night, everyone. Peace out, guys.